that if x is an integer, then if 7x plus 5 is odd, we have that x is even. So we're proving an implication here that 7x plus 5 is odd implies x is even. Let's begin with some discussion. So in our discussion, we should start off thinking about how we would prove this directly. We would have to use that 7x plus 5 is an odd, which means it could be written as 2k plus 1. Now somehow we have to use this and figure out the consequent, get to the consequent that says that x is even. x is even. So that means x should be equal to 2 times something, 2 times some l. Now unfortunately, as I start to play with this here, if I'm going to try to isolate the x, I guess I would first subtract 5 from both sides to get to a 2k minus 4, and then to isolate x I would have to divide by 7. So that's inconvenient, isn't it, right? 2k minus 4 over 7. Now we have division, so I can't even guarantee that I'm still in integers. So this path seems to not be working out very well. So let's try using the technique of contraposition. Remember, recall that the contrapositive means to take the, in the statement we have above, switch the antecedent and the consequence, and negate both. So that would mean that instead of starting off with x, or with 7x plus 5 being odd, we would start off with the negation of this one. We would say not x is even, and instead say let's suppose that x was actually odd. So if x were actually odd, that would mean that x would be equal to 2k plus 1, and then we can more easily work with the beginning expression of 7x plus 5 we'd have that 7x plus 5 would be equal to 7 times 2k plus 1, which would be equal to 14k plus 7, right? And if it's equal to 14k plus 7, we would have 7k, I forgot to add the 5, sorry, <laughs> 7 plus 5, we would have 14k plus 12, and that's equal to 2 times 7k plus 6. Factoring out the 2, so that way we can see that this part right here must be 2 times an integer, which would mean that it's actually even. But that's great, because in the contrapositive proof, we would be proving the negation of the antecedent. We want to get that 7x plus 5 is even if we're approaching it by contrapositive, and this argument here shows that we can do this, that this does work. So this discussion now leads us to the idea of the proof. So please try to pause the video, see if you can prove this on your own, and assuming you gave it a shot here and stopped the video and tried it out on your own, let's now formally make a good proof of this. So, we want to show that if, if 7x plus 5 is odd, we wish to show that x is even. So we will proceed by contraposition. So I'm just telling my reader that I'm going to do this by contrapositive, so that way they know that I'm going to be assuming the negation of my consequent. I could also just go through the proof and then say my result follows by contrapositive, but I like to tell my reader a little bit more information so they're not confused when they start it off. So if we're going to proceed by contrapositive, we will start by assuming that x is not even, we'll assume that it's odd. Then x is equal to 2k plus 1 for some k in the integers. Then what's true? 7x plus 5 would be equal to 7 times 2k plus 1 plus 5, which would be 14k plus 7 plus 5, which is 12. And notice that we can factor a 2 out of there to get a 7k plus 6. Since 7k plus 6 is itself an integer, we now see that, for, uh, that the 7x plus 5 is even. And since we were going by contrapositive, we did want the negation of the antecedent, and so the claim follows by contrapositive. So the claim follows by contrapositive and this completes our proof.